Okay, so um, moose hunting is starting next weekend. Uh, we got a couple of things to do first. We got to go sight in the 7 millimeter. We got to go scout where we hunt moose. Uh, we're also going to hunt grouse on the way to the camp. So we might see a moose. We might see some grouse. If you're up for all that, stay tuned. Well, we didn't get a grouse, so uh, we have to eat this fondue beef. It's better than nothing. <laughs> so I got my target set up way over there at about 100 yards. I'm gonna shoot twice at it to see where my shots are. That's very important to know where you're shooting. A little top right, but if I can get the second one really close to the first shot, I'm going to be confident. I'm using Hornady. Su performance pretty sure it's a 182 grains 72 maybe it's a really good bullet Hornady let's go see how I did on the target actually you probably already saw it but uh, let's go see anyways all right where's the second shot? Right there, maybe? Yeah, I'm shooting a little high, I think. But uh, we're still not too far, two inches apart. So let's say that's the, I'm aiming at the heart or the lungs. I'm gonna get it for sure. Not even a half an inch off from left to right. It's just a, on the vertical. But like I said, that might've been just a, I jerked the trigger a little bit or it doesn't matter. It's still shooting pretty good. I'm not gonna waste any more ammo trying to get it perfect because I've been shooting moose with that rifle for five years and I never missed, so I might jinx myself for this year, but I'm still pretty confident. This might be a deer because it's really low off the ground, but it still might be a young bull moose. It's the Colonel, Colonel Sanders. Sometimes I just don't feel like shooting them. Well, no grouse, no moose, but I'll see you guys on the first day of moose season. One week later, it's the first day of moose hunting season. It's early in the morning. We're driving up to our spot right now. Last year, we got a whole 15 minutes of hunting. I hope this year we can actually hunt a little more than that. Let's hope to see a nice moose.
seven millimeter. Safety always on. For my Trailer Park Boy fans, subscribers. Let's rack one just in case. The rut might be almost over, but I'm still gonna call because I want other moose to think that we're moose because we're gonna be making some noise. So I'm gonna be calling the female in heat and some little calls from a, a male in the rut. There's that uh, Sam Squam tree again. Legend has it that uh, Sam Squanches. They break trees in half like that to mark their territory. Like, you have to admit, what else could have broken that tree right in the middle, high off the ground like that? Sam Squanch. Winter's going to be tough for him, or her, or whatever it chooses to be. Are spooked by something. I really doubt that there's a bull moose hanging out here with that little young one, especially during the rut. But uh, we'll keep our eyes peeled. This is a good sign. There's moose here. decided to backtrack the calf is trail it's beautiful in here just want to keep going that way you can see kind of a I don't know there's like a path right there we're gonna go to the end then we're gonna go back up where we came from where the truck is then we're gonna go to our left 
there's another nice spot over there too. I know these woods like the back of my hand. What the hell's that? Do you want some fried chicken? <laughs> That's the Mr. Sanders uh, landmark. We're not lost, folks. We're not lost. This looks like a spot where the male moose scraped all the ground here, and laid his scent. He probably peed in that hole and rolled, rolled in it. That's not much, but those are markings of a moose that rubbed his antlers on this tree. And if you look closely, you can find moose hair because they got scent glands on their forehead so they're gonna rub this tree put their scent on that tree like I said it's not much but at least it's a sign Do you ever notice spruce trees like that? They don't have branches in the middle. That one over there is a perfect example. Moose will rub their antlers on that spruce tree, break all the branches off, then the tree keeps growing. So you're left with a huge spot where there's no branches. If you look through here, it's full of spruce trees like that one. Loving this spot. Look at that. And on the other side, you got full of maple trees with hemlocks growing on the ground. Moose love to eat hemlock. Plus, there's that gully right there that drops down hundreds of feet to a, a little river. There's a lot of moose activity right in there. We see, we've seen a lot of moose tracks. Not anything really fresh, but this is the spot where we've seen the most activity. So I'm thinking that we come back here tomorrow morning. But this is just beautiful. I'm looking for some mushrooms too. I'd love to find some lobster mushrooms. So we're just going to keep following that ridge from that gully right there. And it's supposed to go up back to the main road. So we're gonna explore in here, then go back to the truck, maybe, yeah, take a break for, for lunch and figure out what we do this afternoon. That's a very big deer track. They say that if you put a seven millimeter bullet besides a um, deer track, and it's the same size that you're dealing with a very big buck and that seven millimeter fits right in there maybe I'll be hunting deer this year who knows
we've been walking for about three hours so we're just gonna take a break and figure out where to go we're just gonna go back to where we were this morning just gonna sit on the edge of the woods take a little break over there see if we can't spot a moose going through let's head on over there All right, so I just got a text message from my brother. Um, we just heard two shots a while ago, very close, in the direction that they're hunting. I was pretty sure it was them, but he just said that they shot a moose. It was actually them. So they're not too far away from, from us right now, about maybe 10 minutes. So we're gonna go over there, check out their moose and clean it up, take it out of the woods. Let's go see that. Here. <laughs> <laughs> that's his buck right there. Frig, that's a nice one. But you can see there's another big one around here because he's got a lot of marks. This guy was a fighter. Look at that. And uh, you can see right here too, he's got some, some scars. So there's another big moose around here. Man, that's nice. That's beautiful. That's going to be a lot of good meat for us. After about an hour, we finally got the moose all cleaned up and we're taking it to the camp right now. We're almost out of the woods. We're gonna go eat some lunch because uh, we're pretty hungry. Sometimes I just feel like leather. Sometimes I just feel like Lilith. <laughs> Sometimes I just feel like uh, let <laughs> letting them live. Sometimes I just feel like letting <laughs> a little, little, little. Sometimes I just feel like letting. <laughs> <laughs> 